In this video lesson, we're going to talk about the application of derivative. We learned a lot about the derivative. We learned how to find the derivative of any uh, functions. Many many types of the functions we learned. Uh, we learned uh, simple algebraic functions, trigonometric functions, you know, logarithm functions, exponential functions, and many different different types of the functions we learned, and many rules we learned to find the derivative in calculus. And now we're going to learn where is the use of those derivative, where we can apply the concept that we learn in the derivative. All right. We can apply in many many places you know we, we, we can use this in uh, in in mathematics definitely and then we can use same in physics in chemistry you know uh, in in economics business you know many where we have to apply this derivative concept uh, so here I have just listed few of them that we're going to learn uh, as application of derivative the, here the first one I'm going to discuss about the rate measure we can measure the rate you know uh, like uh, suppose uh, suppose displacement in changing and you can cha you can find out the rate how the displacement in changing that's velocity you can you can you can uh, find out the rate of the change of the velocity similarly you can find out how the area is increasing or decreasing what is the rate of uh, change of the area you know uh, according to the side you know, ba based on side similarly how the volume is changing what is the rate of the change in volume with respect to the side of the object and a lot of things such we can find out the rates you know and similarly we can learn about the errors and approximation we can find out the errors and approximation with the help of the derivative similarly you can easily determine whether the function is increasing or decreasing with the help of this derivative similarly in, in a function any kind of function all right you can find out the maxima and minima maximum point and minimum point of that function here maxima and minima of the function depends on the function like uh, if a function is giving the profit of a uh, of a company then you can find out what is the maximum profit made by the company or sometimes you can find out in what condition we are getting the minimum profit in the condition uh, I mean, uh, minimum uh, profit of the com uh, of the company so many where you know you can apply these concepts not only in mathematics not only in physics or such things <coughs> in science you can learn this in business you can use those in the daily life you know similarly you can find out the equations of the tangents and normals with the help of the application of derivatives and many more not only this many more are there all right I cannot list all those here so first we're gonna learn about the rate of measurement all right uh, rate how we can find out the rate of anything so whenever I'm saying rate then two things come you know like like I'm saying okay uh, four dollar per kg what is the price of the apple today what is the rate of the apple today in the market so somebody is saying hey uh, it's four dollar per kg so if you are going to buy one kilogram of the apple then you need to pay four dollars so here four dollar this is uh, the money and the kg this is the amount of the apple you're getting so the two things is coming so whenever we are talking about the rate you need to consider there are two variables if you increase the amount of kg the dollar will increase or if you decrease the amount of this kg I mean if you decrease the apple amount of apple then definitely the dollar will decrease so it means these are interdependent you know if you increase any of them the another will get affected similarly here any function if you have if two variables are interrelated let's say uh, let's say a function similarly let's say y equals to 3x square it's a simple function right uh, sometime we write like the f of x also it depends on you all right uh, how you want to write so we find out the derivative of this we write f prime of x sometime we say this is dy over the dx and we write that is 6x so what is this dy over the dx is giving here if you see there are the two variables one is x and another is y so in this case if I'm changing the x definitely y will change all right so I'm going to find out the rate how the y is changing according to the x so by over the dx simply simply speaks that how is the rate of the change of the y with respect to x or sometime you know uh, we have even uh, written this uh, derivative like limit oh my god how bad handwriting I do have uh, delta x tends to zero delta y over the delta x so here delta y and delta x if you see in the graph let's say uh, let's say in the rough I'm making let's say this is this is the graph of y equals to 3x square okay and that time if I'm saying um, I'm going to find out the derivative at this point let's say x equals to any any point it is all right then that time if I'm going to find out the derivative at this point x equals to any point let's say a then that time this uh, this is actually simply telling me how this dy this is delta y and delta x so you know uh, delta y over the delta x this is what this is actually the change in y axis you know change in y coordinate and delta x is the change in x coordinate and delta y over the delta x is just giving a ratio or a, a rate of changing you know rate of changing how the how the y coordinate is changing according to the x coordinate means finally how this function f of x 
is changing with respect to this x based on this x as you move in the x how this y changing all right and if i'm taking here now limit if i'm taking delta x tends to zero now after taking the limit it says that when delta x tends to zero it means when this difference you know is getting shorter now it is very big now getting smaller even smaller even smaller and finally a point so at one particular point you know how is the rate of the change of this y with respect to x you know when delta x tends to zero it prop it, it gives you a point you know a point so at particular point how is the change in y with respect to this x that is actually derivative at that point you know so simply derivative is actually the rate of the change of the function simply i can say this is rate of change of uh, function so if derivative is rate of the change of the function then how we can apply this let me give you a very short example a very small example let's say uh, i have let's say i have a displacement s is representing the displacement let's say displacement is given by let's say 3t square plus 2 so here s equals to 3t square plus 2 is giving the displacement uh, based on the time here t is representing time keep in mind s is your displacement all right and here t is representing the time so as the time is changing definitely displacement will change if you simply if you if you look simply you know when t equals to one second my displacement s1 is now see it is going to be three into one square plus two so that's going to be let me shift it a little bit it's three times one that's going to be five meter let's say displacement is measured in meter and time is measured in second that time all right let me give it a second. okay so when t equals to now two second let's say my s2 is going to be three into two square plus two so uh it's 3 into 2 square 2 square is 4 times 3 12 plus 2 that's 14 meter similarly when s is 3 when when 3 second happens so until 3 second how much distance i have covered how much displacement i have made so that's 3 into 3 square plus 2 so it's 9 times 3 27 plus 2 it's 29 all right so 29 meter i covered so as the time is increasing you know when it is 3 second so as the time is increasing the displacement is also increasing so what is the rate of the change of this displacement based on the time that can be found with the help of the derivative so i have to simply write here ds over dt so ds over dt here represents you know it's same like when y is represented by uh, you know it is same like when s is represented by let's say y and t is represented by x so it will be 3x squared plus 2 so that time dy over dy over dx is giving the displace i mean the rate of the change of the y with respect to x similarly here ds over dt is representing me how the s is changing according to the time if i'm writing let's say dv over dx so here v is let's say volume then what is the change of the volume what is the rate of the change of the volume based on the side with respect to side similarly if i'm writing da over dt let's say all right so this is area okay uh, let's say uh, so da over dt is here representing how the area is changing according to the time so similarly here ds over dt is representing how the displacement is changing according to the time and that's actually velocity if you have learned the physics well so what is ds over dt so i'm just going to find out uh, the derivative of this and that's going to be 60 just i use the power rule and derivative of 2 is 0 so it's just 60 so i find out the rate of the change of the displacement that is 60 and now the if question is asking me hey what is the rate of the change of the displacement when the time is let's say 10 second okay so someone is saying at 10 second what is the rate of the change of the function all right so 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 i just have to do ds over dt at 10 second you know or simply you can write like this also when t equals to 10 second so you just have to write 6 into 10 that's 60 meter per second so 60 meter per second this is the rate of the change of the displacement at 10 second all right so if you see in the graph if you see in the graph if this is x axis and y axis let's say my x axis is representing the time and my y axis is representing the displacement let's say this is the rough diagram of uh, the function which is 3x square 3t square plus 2 okay so let's say this is just a rough i'm not saying this is absolutely right but just a case to understand what is uh, this all right so at t equals to one second t equals to one second we had covered the distance of five meter okay so we had covered five meter so here we have covered five meter when our time equals to two second we have made the displacement of 14 okay let's see 
uh, I'm sorry let's say the function is here all right let's say this is here this is 14 meter similarly when the time is 3 second we cover 29 okay let's say this is 29 okay so here we made 29 meter so as the time is increasing displacement is changing so now question is asking this function may be you know I don't know how it is but when t equals to 10 second so it may be somewhere let's say so at this point how is the rate of the change of the uh, how is the rate of the change of this uh, displacement so what is the what is the rate of change what is the delta y and what is the delta x I mean what is delta s and what is delta t so delta s over delta t what is this when delta t tends to 0 all right limit is here our delta t tends to 0 ds over dt means what is the rate of the change of the displacement with respect to time when time is 10 second all right so this is actually the rate of the change of the displacement at t equals to 10 second and this is our derivative you know which we can write like this ds over dt when t equals to 10 second all right i hope you understand uh, how i applied here the concept of derivative we're going to learn a lot about this application of derivative in uh, following videos that's coming more so first we'll be dealing with the rate of uh, measure and then a uh, rate measure and then we'll be going for the errors approximation increasing decreasing you know everything you know so if you have any questions to ask me regarding this video or any suggestions you want to give me then please feel free to comment below this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in the next video goodbye